As you recall in earlier training videos, we learned how to group our records together. And in this example, I took all the clients or customers who purchased the same title and grouped them under that one title instead of having that title duplicated one for each customer. So with them grouped, I want to show you how you can keep those groups together when it comes to viewing your report or printing your report. For example, when I right click in a blank area and go to the print preview, and let me go to page two and click on it to zoom out and click at the bottom to zoom in at the bottom, I've got the title Ghost Hunters for Beginners. Well, where's the records? Well, it couldn't be squeezed down at the bottom, so it's at the top of, let me click on it to zoom out, click on the top, the top of page three. Now, what was the title of these records or the book title that they purchased? Oh, I forgot. Now, I got to go back to the bottom of page two. Well, don't do that. Instead, if we keep the groups together, instead of having them do the splits across, well, two different pages, if it can't fit on one page, it won't try to split them. It'll keep them together. So I'll have more space at the bottom of page two because it took the title and put it at the top of page three to keep the entire group together, the title with the customers. So to go ahead and keep those groups together, well, I'm looking at this and I got a lot of space actually between the title and the last record of the previous group. How about if we go ahead and clean that up a bit and see if that changes anything? And if not, it doesn't matter. I'll still show you how you can group your records together, but let's right click and go to the design view because if I clean this up, I may not have to keep my groups together because, well, for this report, it may not do the splits. But in any case, I've got the spacing here for the page header. Let me go ahead and hover over in the vertical ruler until I can see an arrow pointing to the right. Then when I click, it shoots a line through everything here. And I want to hit the up arrow key once so I can squish it to the top of the next section as tight as I can. And then click and drag the book title header, that section, up so it's squished right against it. Let's see if it changes anything because now I have less space. So right click, not that that would make a difference, but where it fixes one and it keeps those groups together and it doesn't split, it may split another. In any case, let's go ahead and check it out. Go to the print preview and let's go over to page two. Click on it to zoom out, click on it to zoom in at the bottom of page two. Okay, there we go. We got ghost hunting for beginners. We got a few records there, but to see the rest, let me click and click on it to zoom out, click up at the top. I got to go to the top of page three. So I'm kind of still back to like, okay, who do these belong to? What's the book title? So let's go ahead and uh, clean this up and keep the groups together so they don't do the splits like that. So let's right click, go to the design view. And we want to come up here on the design tab and go to the grouping and totals group and click on group and sort. Now, because they're already grouped by book title, it's there. So we just need to click on more. And right here is what we're looking at where it says, don't keep group together on one page. Well, I want to keep them together on one page. If you do that, you may end up with, well, extra space at the bottom of one page, and that's okay. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and see what we get. You can keep the whole group together on one page, or if you want to try to not waste as much paper, you could say, okay, if you've got to do the split, then keep the header and the first record together on one page, and then you can put the rest on the next page. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we keep it together. And we're trying to say, look, don't split it. I mean, there comes a certain point where if you've got a thousand records to make a point that there's no way you can keep that group together on one page unless your font is like micro infinity small. In any case, let's see what we get when we keep the whole group together on one page. And let's right click, go to the print preview, click on it to zoom out. When we get to the bottom of this page, do we have any extra space? Yeah, a little bit. So it took what would normally have put down at the bottom of that page, the title of the next group, and put it, let's click on it, zoom out up at the top here, get to the bottom of there. Looks like it could have squoze the title and maybe one record there, but it's keeping them all together. Click on it to zoom out, and there we go, ghost hunting for beginners. It's got the title and all the records together. They're happy. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.